So I just thought I'd show you here my um, silver test, silver and gold testing area and, and the setup I have um, for testing precious metals. What I've got here, so I've got a plastic tub tray which I can clean off and it, it, it protects the worktop and also I, then I know where exactly where all the acids are going to be so I don't get any contamination or, or burn myself with the acids because you do have to be careful because they are quite toxic and can be quite corrosive if left. Un unchecked. Um, so that's one essential. Next thing you'll need is a scratch stone. Uh, these you can pick up quite cheaply. You can clean them off with scouring pads and start again. Um, and these these are, are unessential. Next thing you'll need is a loop. Uh, this is a five times magnification, which should normally be enough for um, looking for markings. Uh, even if there are markings, still test them uh, because you can get stamps, especially 925, you can get stamps off the internet. This is a 925 stamp here, uh, which I purchased off the internet um, for stamping my own work. Um, you know, it was purchased for un under a tenner, so there are unscrupulous people out there who do buy plated stuff and stamp them up and try and bob it off as... Um, solid so do be careful also the next thing you'll definitely need is a magnet this is definite definite essential because uh, that'll pick out the stainless steel items or anything with a ferrous content in there now to protect yourself I'd advise wearing some form of eye protection such as safety specs or something like that uh, also it's a good idea to do it in a ventilated area uh, also you'll need some good uh, latex gloves I choose latex powder free gloves but you can also go with non latex if you've got issues with that uh, try and change them regularly because they, they, they will the acid will eat through them um, but you just don't want to get it on your hands because what the silver stains your hand silver solution stains your hands and the the gold one will burn so you need to be very careful when testing plated items, um, it's absolutely essential to have a, a good, decent file. A small needle file like this will do. You can normally pick them up at car boot sales and yard sales, that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy, something quite fine so it, it, you're not tearing chunks out of it, not like a huge wood file or anything, just something quite delicate. But what you need is something with an edge. This is a triangular insection and this one's an oval. Now I've got two files, I've got one for silver and one for gold and I keep it separate just in case I accidentally file through um, some of the fluid and I don't want the fluids to mix or cross contaminate. Also you get a build up of dust in the actual file so if I'm filing gold and silver you know I'd just rather keep it separate so I've got a dedicated silver file and a dedicated gold file. I'll go through this process in more detail in another video, but basically uh, what you the, what you want to do is you want to get yourself a good um, testing kit. This is just a uh, standard precious metal testing kit. They're around 15 to 20 pounds off the internet. You can pick them up. You can pick them up huge thing variety of testings, but just the basics will do. Silver, nine carat, and then 14 to 24. So then you know whether you've got silver low grade gold or high grade gold. The two silver solutions I use, um, the one that came with the kit is a little droplet here, it um, turns red uh, when uh, it comes in contact with silver. This one here is a bit nicer, it's actually got an applicator stick which is good for smaller pieces and this turns a creamy white um, when it, it um, comes in contact with silver but with the applicator a bit like a tipex bottle it's a bit easier to handle with the eyedroppers sometimes you can put way too much solution on and, and waste it really and finally I've got my uh, two gold testing ones the main one I use is the nine carat that's the one I get through quickest and occasionally I get the 14 to 24 one this one's lasted me ages because first of all I test it with a nine and then if it is gold I'll test it or if it doesn't react with that I'll test it with the higher grade one which most of the time nine times out of ten if it's gold it's going to be nine carat 
The next thing you'll need is a good set of digital scales. You can pick these up off eBay uh, relatively cheaply, but you want one that measures in grams and in ounces, so you can find out what the weight of your item is and work out its value. So with a rough setup like this, uh, you can you can test uh, your finds from yard sales, thrift stores, all those sort of those things, and then be confident uh, it, knowing what you've got um, and how best to proceed from that point. Because at the end of it, knowledge is power. So if you know what something is, then you can extract more money out of that. Thanks for watching.